Hi, welcome to Destination Think, and thanks for tuning in. In this talk, our CEO, Rodney Payne, illustrates the way destination marketing has fundamentally changed over the past two decades. You'll learn why that is, where we are today, and how your DMO can adapt to stay current. It's a valuable talk that will benefit your whole team, and you'll also learn about a new initiative for destination marketers called Tourism Sentiment Index, which Rodney announced in September 2018. Thanks again. Here's the presentation. I want to start by getting you to think back to 1995. Remember the dial phones we used to use and the limited TV channels that we used to have before Netflix was invented. And a lot of our information came to us through those channels and, and through newspapers and print. And the role of the DMO was really clear. Destination marketing organizations were the keepers of information. They produced the guide that was of the authority and provided information to other people who needed it. They worked with travel agents and travel trade to make sure the destination was um, highlighted in all the right places, ran the visitor center, and tried to get as many people, as many journalists, um, and other people to write about the destination as possible. And the media options available were quite limited. There was earned and paid. Now, fast forward 10 years to 2005, and another opportunity emerges. The internet comes about. Facebook's popping up in colleges. YouTube launches in February of 2005. TripAdvisor's still barely a blip on the internet. Friendster and MySpace are dominating the social space, if you can remember that. Now, destinations are focused heavily on building websites and starting to dabble with you know, rudimentary social media profiles. And the landscape's starting to change. We've got to balance our earned, paid, and owned activities to make sure that we're keeping up with consumers. And there's a quote that I've used in a number of different keynote presentations and, and other things that I really love. And it's the one on screen from the Harvard Business Review. The only path to profitable growth for a company is to turn its loyal customers into its marketing department. And that quote is, is also brilliant because it's from 2003 in an article about Net Promoter Score, when a lot of private sector organizations were really starting to shift their focus from paid towards earned and word of mouth advertising. Fast forward another 10 years, here we are in 2015. The volume of information that is being created is in the billions of pieces of content every single day. And not only is the volume enormous, the trust in information that other consumers are creating is much higher than the trust level in brands. It's dwarfing what we can do as marketers. But yet our industry is still largely focuses on paid and owned and the things that we feel like we can wrap our arms around and control. And this is causing friction. It's something that's talked about in nearly every conference I've attended is how are we going to adapt to the changing consumer? First, the web, now social media, big data, and destination management. And change is scary. And it's something our industry is, you know, on the whole, really, really still grappling with. When I look at that big circle, the earned stories or the word of mouth. To me, that's really what destination management is about, managing the end-to-end -end consumer journey right from the beginning of when people start planning trips all the way to when they get home throughout the, the on-the-ground experience to make sure their stories and the word of mouth flowing from that experience is really positive. That's the ultimate test of your destination's brand health is are we producing positive stories? And at Think, we define the destination brand as the sum of all stories somebody hears and the combination of all experiences that they have during a trip. Destination management is all about influencing that, highlighting the best parts through marketing and developing what you can through product to improve the experience. And the role of the destination in the future is to manage and influence that. And in this new environment, there will be winners and losers. Peter Drucker is a famous management consultant, and his, his quote here gets used a lot. What gets measured gets managed. And I believe this is one of the things that's really holding our industry back, is that we have endless KPIs that we measure and report on. The amount of things that DMOs are tasked with doing, different departments focusing on different success measures, 
and we keep adding things to the responsibilities of our organisations without really taking things away or giving people permission to focus and collaborate around common success measures. For many people, when I ask the question, what does success look like for you? Can you define it in a sentence? Then they're, they're not able to clearly answer it and that's, that's not a great place to be. But could you imagine what it would mean for your destination if you could really easily measure that everything that people were saying about it online, everything in that blue circle that I showed? Imagine a report that can analyze everything said on your destination, measure that with a very simple KPI that's easy to communicate internally, easy to focus people on and easy to communicate success to stakeholders lets you benchmark against competitors and breaks down the performance into 50 different areas of conversation that matter to destination marketers to give you that crystal clear focus that we really need. In many of our large projects, our strategy team at Think has been using sentiment analysis to develop destination brands, to create strategies, um, and as the leaping off point for campaign concepts understand what consumers think of the place, and then build from there. It's expensive and difficult to use online sentiment analysis on your own. And for the last 12 months, we've been looking at how do we make that accessible for any destination on the planet. And that's the opportunity that I get to share with you today. It's called the Tourism Sentiment Index, measuring what matters to help you confidently manage your destination and make sure that you're winning in the future. Clear KPIs to learn and align your team, backed by data and insights, all in one simple report. It's the best way to properly measure word of mouth that we can find, and believe me, we've been looking. It can help you to guide planning at an organizational level when you're budgeting or planning annually. It can help your marketing team know what the best aspects of your destination are to really focus on and dial up. And you can share the data with industry and the other people who are able to improve the experience where you have those insights as well and help with destination development. If you're familiar with the concept of a magic metric, something that can influence your business, this has the potential to be it. Thanks again for listening. Click the link below to view the full presentation, which describes how Tourism Sentiment Index works, how your destination can benefit, and how one DMO executive is already using the new report to help lead her destination. See you next time.